Oh my! Once again, it is time to officially announce map three of mine, Katie. But next up, isn't that a little bit too soon? Don't worry, all right? It is scheduled to be February the 18th, so you still have about eight days, but I do like to inform you guys as soon as possible because I know that a lot of you guys want to make factions, a lot of you guys want to join factions, make base designs, make cannons, make all of this different shit. So obviously, I'm going to tell you in good time. February 18th, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So many big factions are playing. Cosmic players are coming back. Psycho players are coming back. Competitive faction players are coming back. It is going to be absolutely insane. But obviously, if you're here and you don't know what Mycadia is, you haven't followed along in the channel, first of all. But it is basically a regular faction with a ton of custom content and features. And it is owned by the owners of Viber and have a bunch of YouTubers, including the best one, obviously, myself. <laughs> now, I am restricted to say that all YouTubers are going to be active actively playing, but I'll promise you I'll be the most active one you've ever seen. I'm always on, guys, go on and shoot me a message in-game. Let's have a fun conversation. I promise you I'll answer you if I don't have too many PM. Also, all information about next map is going to be absolutely insane. Check out the features. It's, 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 it's insane. I mean, it's ridiculous. Check out the Discord, but alright, let's go to continue with the video. <coughs> Good morning, guys, or should I say goodbye, or, or something else? Oh boy, have things changed since I've been away. If you haven't checked out last episode, I actually got COVID last episode, which means I've been in bed for, well, about two days. But next time, I'm failing to see how that is relevant. Well, 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 as you can see, our F-Topper's position has changed drastically. We're all the way down at f top A. Our base is completely ruined with sponges, junk bursters, and holes, and literally everything is just destroyed. Come on, that's a staff on the Minecadia network has completely griefed our Discord, banning every single member while I was in bed. No, obviously, I didn't check my phone that much, and I didn't really do a lot to kind of keep everything together because, well, no shit, Sherlock, I was sick. So, oh shit, these guys cannot even live without me for two days. And obviously, maybe it's because I'm a bad leader. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because I'm horrible. I don't know, right? I just don't know. But I do want to say there has been quite a lot of issues, and that might be why, but I'm not about here to like just sit here and cry about why, what happened and something. And it doesn't matter, guys. We're here to have fun, so let's have fun. Well, I wouldn't lie if I said it wouldn't be a little bit more fun if I had a faction. <laughs> Since I released this bad boy right here last episode- Oh! Didn't you see last episode? Well, maybe you should go watch it then! I released this bad boy right here and I'll tell you right now, I've never been more popular- Well, my, my entire life, I'm pretty sure. So many of you guys have downloaded this cannon, and that is absolutely amazing. However, not a lot of you guys kind of understood it, and uh, that filled up my PMs. Thank you very much. I do wish I could help all of you, but there's just too many. So I'm making a video instead, not a video, but making a clip on what's the basic of using this cannon and how you get rid of most regions. But next, uh, what regions are you going to go through? Well, hold on. Hold on. You sound like my girlfriend on a Sunday morning. This right here is what we're going to go through. We're going to try to get through this one here, then this one, this one, and this one. But obviously so we're gonna try to do it in a different way and use everything that the cannon has to get through it. That's right! Oh, well, well that's, oh, well, that's right, guys! That's what you're gonna do. Hopefully, you guys are gonna enjoy it, but let's gonna dig right into it and get to the very first region. Oh, boy! Is this the most widely used region? I think it is. Correct me in Discord if I'm wrong, but this right here is not a mindset. I don't know if it's a mindset. I have no fucking clue. Is it a mindset? I'm pretty sure the mindset is when you, it's the one behind this one. I don't know. It's a region, all right? Just... Go with it! Now, the number one rule when cannoning any regions is that once it's wet, it's... <laughs> if it's wet, it will... Th <laughs> I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. I can't do it. If there's any water sources or any type of <laughs> liquid <laughs> close to the region, you can also be it very, very easily. That was really hard for me to say. I'm sorry. I had a good joke right here, but I don't think I can say it on YouTube. So, if it's wet, you can get through it with the OSRB. Let's go ahead and check that out right now. As you can see, this cannon right here have a wide variety of equipment, just like my girlfriend's nightstand. 
Unlike that though, this one here does have Orza B. Orza B is pretty much a way to stack inside of water to get water inside the region. So basically what it does is it stacks up to somewhere and then it blows a hole in the region and then it stacks again and then the water will slowly drain into the region. But thanks to how does that work? Let's go and check it out, all right? So let's go and see if we're gonna put the Orza B on. You can put the slap bust on if you want to as well. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't really have any slaps and now I spammed it, didn't I? Oh God. All right, we good, never mind. We're don't, don't spam the levers. Don't, don't spam the levers. Let's go ahead and fire right now. And you guys should see what is going to happen. It's going to go ahead and turn some of all of that lava into obsidian. So now it comes in right here. And as you can see, it completely ruined this region as it stacks sand up again. And now we got lava and water meeting. Which means it makes obsidian, cobble, and it's a mess, all right? So next stop, all you got to do now is just simply go ahead and quickly turn the slab. Or what's it called? Or be on. Of, nuke on and you might have to nuke a few times maybe depending on the i guess how lucky you are i think we might only need to do it two times here let's go ahead and have a look so that will get rid of that and we are actually free so now we can go ahead and shoot on the next one but as you can see this one right here is a little bit different and that is because we have no water we have to change the barrel if you want to go ahead and actually hit the water now you can easily do that but most of the times there's something in the way protecting this water sources like pillars and walls so you have to shoot through the buffer one more time and all of that crazy stuff so you can either choose to move the barrel over to this side here or you can try to get through it some other way now the cannon side here does have things to where you can kind of bypass stuff and like do different things uh, i'm pretty sure we are free of this first region right here let's just go ahead and make sure so i think we might be hitting that up yep we might hit that obsidian let's nuke and see what happens because i think we might be hitting that obsidian all right let's go ahead and see if that we still clip on this one so we can continue to the next nope we're not clipping on it and as you can see it's gonna nuke and it's just gonna gen back like well nothing happened but all right so what we need to do now is we need to figure out how are we going to do this so obviously this one right here gens back so the best way we can possibly do this is most likely going to do something called double tapping now double tapping means that you're gonna open up a region then you're gonna stack inside the region removing all the lava sources so let's go and show you guys that right now now this gun right here doesn't really have a what's it called a method to double tap all you gotta do is just flex this one right here and shoot twice so that is once and that is twice and now we should be able to go through this so first it destroys it and then it stacks inside of it and when it stacks inside of it, it removes all the lava sources. And now it won't be able to gen back since the wall of what's it called the lava here is not going to go out. So as you can see, we remove this block right here. But that still doesn't really explain what we're going to do here. But as you can see, we have a little bit of a pickler. Because this right here will still gen back due to the water in the back. And as you can see, to remove this lava source, we're going to have to move the barrel or do something else. Now let's just go ahead and say that you can't shoot where the water is. Because as long as there's water you can all us rb that is the golden rule right here guys if there is water and you can hit it or is rb but yeah we aren't able to do that so what are we going to do now there's multiple things we can do right here we are actually able to double tap this because now we are only one wall so now we can double tap this and stack behind it because that's something the cannon can do as well so let's get and take a look at that what that is called is double tap scatter let's go ahead and find it right here double tap back stack right here i said a little bit wrong so let's go and enable that and get rid of the nuke and get rid of the slap boss. You can keep the slap boss on, but I don't have any slap. So, I mean, there's no point to... All right, anyways, let's go ahead and fire this cannon right here. Flex the lever and here we go. So now this cannon here should be double tap back stacking. Let's go and take a look. So it's going to blow up this wall and then it's going to quickly stack behind it with no scatter. And then it's just going to continue doing that. So it's going to scatter that again and it's going to quickly stack behind it. And we can keep doing that all the way until the reach is over here where it should go go ahead and get rid of this all right one more shot we should see if this is actually gonna work and here we go is the second one and as you can see it is now destroying this region let me go and stop the camera for uh, well well gosh dang it now i'm gonna try to see if we can get every single scenario on recording right here but obviously some of it might not work in this situation and others others might but let's go and have a look right here so we're gonna stack in between and there you are and now as you can see we have now gotten rid of the lava here in the way what you can do now is you can actually tunnel bypass to get rid of all of these blocks right here 
here and stack behind it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. See, here comes the tunnel bypass. And as you can see, it's stacked behind it. And now we are through the wall behind it by simply tunnel bypassing. But as you can see, now it actually does back. So now we need to go ahead and stack again to do the exact same. Obviously, this side right here is not getting back because there's no water over here. But yeah, you get the drill. So that is one way to get rid of these right here. Obviously, we can also stack behind it. So if you go ahead and add this right here, here we are. Obviously, now you're going to actually have to change your barrel, which is going to be a problem for anything that is in your way. But what you can do is simply stack right here to get rid of all the lava sources. So let me go ahead and show you guys that as well. As you can see, we're stacking behind it and we're going to continue doing that right now. I see that we're actually following the water with it. Not sure what that is going to do, but probably nothing. But let's go ahead and have a look. Okay. And it just helped us out even more. But right now, what we're doing, we're actually removing all the lava sources in here. So this region right here is literally useless as soon as all the land sources are gone, as you can see what we're doing right now. Let me go ahead and disable the can before we backstack too much right here. But yeah, that is also one way you can get through these. There's also multiple ways you can get through these, but this right here is basically the ones you want to go ahead and go for. But as you can see, all the land is gone, and now we can just go ahead and shoot through this without any worries. However, we did have to adjust the barrel, and, and that does say something about stuff. But yeah, there you go. That is pretty much the basic defenses. And also, I almost forgot, leave a comment down below if you guys want me to release another solo base this season. I don't know if you used it once previously, but I don't think a single one of you guys actually got split. So, the base works, so leave a comment down below if you would like a solo base or a semi-solo base released before the next map.